Let's move on now to um, the earliest papers. This wonderful sheet of uh, material here is called papyrus and it's what the Egyptians used to work on, as you'll know from your Bible studies I'm sure from years ago as children. Um, it's made from sections of reed that have been compressed together and then dried and you can see when we zoom in on this the cross sections as it's laid zigzag or crossways one layer over another beautiful surface. You could paint on this with um, acrylics. It would be difficult to paint with watercolours. You could use inks. Um, you could even use oil paint on it and it would take pastel and pencil. We move on from this one to the ordinary pastel papers. Here I've got two colours of exactly the same paper. These are Ongres papers and you'll notice there's a very slight texturing now many people get this wrong in that they try to use the rough side of a pastel paper rather than the smooth side. There's a difference in the roughness or texture to the bite. The bite is the very surface of the paper that holds the pastel, but the texturing, in this case more like orange peel, can work against that. If you want an orange peel texture with your painting, fine, but use the smooth side of the pastel paper, not the rough side normally. Now, no paper is colour fast, so if this is exposed to light for a long time, it will go lighter and lighter. And if you are using this colour to show through your pastels, then obviously it's going to change the colour of the reaction of your pastel colour against the paper. So I normally advise students not to let the paper show through, but to either paint the background of the paper with a light acrylic um, or a gouache, or rub in a fine layer of pastel first so that that colour glows through, not the paper colour, then it shouldn't change colour at all. Moving on again to a very fine glass paper. This is P500 glass paper. They have been tested. Now make sure you don't just normally use an ordinary glass paper from a, a shop because some of them react to damp and some of them are not um, going to last as long as, as, as this will. This is a Hermes P500 and it's a fine glass paper and holds the pastel very, very well. You can buy it in large sheets. It works out about £5 a sheet and maybe a little less. Um, one tip about using this is that you never blend with the tips of your fingers. Cool autumn day and a rather unusual light today. The sun's just coming out between the clouds and we've got these rather lovely cloud effects in the distance here with that sun glowing. Which I thought would make a rather nice picture. Difficult to pick up with the camera and get the light and the darks. But hopefully you'll get me doing it all right with the actual pastel we're going to do. And we're going to use a special paper today. A glass paper, in fact, have used something similar before, but there's another artist who's um, producing this paper, especially for pastels. It uses quite a lot of pastel, um, but it'll be rather fun to, to, to have a go again. And I'm using a, and I'm also doing a bit of fishing while I'm waiting. Okay, let's work out the uh, composition lightly at first. That's it. So we'll just get on with the colouring now. There's some blues coming in here. Oh yes, this pastel paper does take it very nicely. You must remember with a um, glass paper like this that we need to use the palm of our hand to blend things, not our fingertips, or uh, very quickly have worn out fingers. We're going to blend the pastel on the paper, so we'll start off with blocking in quickly. This is a lot of pastel, this. Just block in these colours at first. And very quickly with the side of the pastel. I'm going to put this mauve right through the background here, blend it in a moment, and use it as a base colour. Come underneath all of these colours. This paper uses an awful lot of pastel, that's the only thing I have against it. So 
to use the palm of my hand to go around the paper, working it in, and to get rid of all of this colour of this under, this paper underneath, this creamy colour, I don't really want it at all. I need to build the pastel right into the circuit. of mist The colours are all very subdued with this very low light so I've only just got to touch the paper to get the effects. got a bit of sun just coming through one of the cloud there that I want to try and get in because it's rather effective just up here so I can darken the grey around it One colour can make such a difference on a picture like this. I do look. I do look for these things that are out there. The things that are so important that make a picture what it is, seeing what it is. up there. There's a bit of that cream coming up into there as the light fades. There we go, that'll do. Maybe I'll go over that later with a... Pencil, because it's starting to rain. Can you think of a nicer way to spend an afternoon or an evening? Just sitting here, a little bit of painting, a bit of fishing here at my own doorstep. Well, we'll try and catch a few more tiddlers so we can get some big ones later this evening, just before it gets done. Mm -hmm. 